happy! <laughs> Morning, guys. I don't know why I just came into the kitchen. It's quieter in here. There's music playing out there. Are you a good girl? Are you having a good day? Are you guys having a good day? I hope that you are. Um, what am I doing today? I've got a car to work on, so I'm going to get to that. Grab some coffee, work on a car, walk the hill, not in that order, get the day started. See you guys on the other side of the intro. I'm just getting started this morning and it's cold outside. Um, we have Superman ice caves. That's what I always refer to these as, because you know, Superman had like all those, those like, I don't want to say glaciers, but just ice crystals, those huge freaking ice crystals. And you look, and it's been so cold, that it looks like all these ice crystals. Look at that. Urgh, be like a giant. Urgh. Wow. Ice, ice, baby. Oh, I just think that is so neat. Okay, so anyway. See, very, very easily amused. Easily distracted too. Apparently it's crow time. Look at all the crows in the trees over there. Can you see them? Here, I'll zoom in. That way you guys can see what I'm talking about. There we go. Look at all the crows in the trees over there. So you guys can see them now. Anyway, we are back at the post office once again to see if we have anything else in the PO box. I'm not even gonna bring my phone with me, just you guys. I'm just gonna bring you guys with me. Don't need to bring my phone. I'm not that attached to it. Well, yeah I am. Today we get a card from Just In Case You're Thirsty and uh, Jackie from Springfield, Florida. Um, but here's something that's funny. I had a, a bum ask me, it's like, man, can you help out or whatever? And I looked at myself, I'm like, man, I... Ripped pocket, ripped jeans. So he's like, oh, okay, man. So I came to Walgreens to find a Christmas card and some other little items, but look. Look at all the Jack Skellington stuff they have. <laughs> oh my. They even have toys for dogs. Oh, those are awesome. String lights. Slippers. Sometimes you just know when it's going to snow. Don't try looking for it right now. It's not snowing right now, but I can smell it and I can feel it. It is, um, wait, hold on. I got a bunch of hearts going across my screen. <laughs> it's three o'clock in the afternoon. So currently headed out to drop off some more of these things. Um, I've, I've been doing them every day. So if I receive them that day, I've been sending them out that day just to make sure I stay on top of it. And talking about, speaking about staying on top of things, Troy's gonna go see Pitch Perfect tonight. It doesn't officially come out until tomorrow, but I, it's weird that they have show times the day before usually in most movies that come out. So they have a 7 p.m. and a 10 or 10.30 p.m. Uh, show time today, and I'm going to go and see it. There's only a few seats less left for the 7 p.m. one. I would like to be able to see the 7 p.m. one because, oh, I've got a dentist appointment again in the at 6.30. I don't know, it's been maybe two years now, three years now, since they tore this down. But this is so funny, so we're parked over there. Barnes & Noble is over there. And the movie theater is right there. And this used to be, what, I think this used to be like Got Shocks. Funny thing is, is look at the floor. You can still see where all the tiles and all the rows were. <laughs> oh, that's just crazy. For whatever reason, they just tore down the whole building and just left a concrete slab here. I don't know what they're doing with it. Seems like a waste, but and again, I guess that is what we do now, isn't it? We're going to uh, cash in this little voucher we got down here, and we're gonna get a movie ticket for tonight. I don't wanna hear anybody make fun of me about Pitch Perfect. Why? Because if you're able to make music with your mouth, that's pretty damn talented. Look at that, they've already salted the walks in preparation for Snowpocalypse 2017. I'll probably get like a quarter inch and people will freak out. So anyway, I do have my tickets and uh, now I gotta make the long trek back to the truck. I have a business appointment, a job to do tonight and hopefully I'll make it here in time. I always think this is funny, people and curbs because you know it's gonna happen. You can see it, you can predict the future. And right now I'm predicting the future in five, four, three, two, curb. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. Or should I say, Buffy, I'm home. Buffy, 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 Buffy. Hi, hi, hi. I actually left her in the house earlier when I went away. I had forgotten that I left her in the house. And she was okay. She didn't eat anything that she wasn't supposed to eat. Good girl. Are we learning? Are we learning? Sit, speak, ah! whisper. 
Good girl. Give me five. Good girl. Shake. Good girl. Lay down. Oh my gosh. Wow. You want some treats? You want some treats? You know something? You're so good. And I got to get rid of them anyway. There you go. Oh, oh, you almost lost the bacon underneath the washer. Hey, hey, don't forget this bacon. I just gave them all to her because I've actually got treats there, I think, from, from last Christmas. I don't give her a lot of treats. They make her gassy. She's already gassy enough. Anyway, um, I have to, it's 6.02, holy cow, I need to shower and get changed to go see the movie. So we are headed back to the wonderful theater so that we can see Pitch Perfect 3. And around, whoa, hey, get back over here. Look at the, look at the tree, look at it, look at it, okay. Why am I parking up close? I don't need to park up close. I don't want to park up close. I want to park far away and walk. Because this is what Troy does. This is how you lose weight. You don't lose weight by parking up at the closest spot you find. You just waste gas trying to find that closest spot. Yeah, and those are full too. So let's just go over here. Let's go over here. We'll park over here. Wow, these are full too. Oh, wait, no. This one right here. Bada boom, bada bing. And we're here. We're back. And I can bypass this whole line too. That's awesome. All right, don't laugh at me. Stop it. Don't laugh. The movie just let out. Um, I was going to get into the truck and take off, but I looked at how many steps I have today and I hardly have any. So I'm just going to walk around aimlessly. Oh, we might go see the Christmas tree. Let's go see the Christmas tree. That'd be fun. If you guys are interested, uh, Pitch Perfect 3 did not stay true to the first movie but it was still fun and entertaining and it answered a lot of questions and wrapped up a lot of loose ends. So that's basically my take on that. Right now we're gonna go see a Christmas tree. Oh, look at that. I never noticed on the top of the tree, that right there is kind of like our city, uh, not motto, but our, our, it's supposed to be like a mountain. That's supposed to be Mount Rainier. And the color of our city is this dark blue. That's why the whole tree is outlined in, in dark blue right there, along with the, uh, the county or city. Sorry, city building back behind it. All right, I'm gonna be careful. Make sure I don't get run over. Oh, 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 shoot. <laughs> it's not exactly a crosswalk here, but here you have nice, awesome blue LED lights. And on the tree, you also can't see it because the white lights are so bright. There's blue ribbons all over the tree too, but you can see like how tall this tree is and how short I am. Let's go to Burlington Coat Factory now. Holy cow, their toy section looks like everybody's played with everything already. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. Oh my. <laughs> so here I am just looking for gift ideas and I stumble across this. What the heck? XOXO Betsy? Betsy? Skulls on a rose? That just seems awkward. I don't understand. Oh, look at this. Whoa, that's awesome. Skull luggage. Love it. All right, guys. First comment of the night, Jim Erickson. I'm first. Which you were the first on this one. Let's get into the second comment. Capstone 2, first again. Watched an hour ago and no outro. Vlog removed? Okay, so maybe, I don't know. There's no proof. The vlog was up. There's an outro on the vlog, so I have no idea what you're talking about. And then I, I what I post, yes, Hellmouth Scandal 2017. <laughs> Graham Newcomb, morning all the way from Australia, wishing Troy and family a Merry Christmas. Wow, that is so cool. John John 9111, just being a nosy person and was thinking about Keith and how he and the kids are doing, is he coming home for the holidays? You know, I'm not sure. I should actually ask him and find out to see if he is. Trish Redding, oh my gosh, hi. Uh, you say that you work for a dentist, so I hear people talk funny like that all the time. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to you, Trish. And the final comment of the night, Ruth Fry, hi, fuzzy boy. <laughs> all right, guys, so thank you so much for commenting, thumbs upping, rating, which are two of the same things, uh, and, and doing everything else that you guys do. You guys are so awesome, I appreciate all of you guys. So we're out of here. We'll see you tomorrow. Troy, personal notes. Don't forget the outro. Just saying. Bye, guys. Blood drops are red. Corpses are blue. If you don't thumb up this vlog, I will find you. <laughs>